Libra, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Libra, and I upload Libra readings every single week. Also, if it does not resonate with you, I highly recommend you checking out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you don't get a message from your sun sign, then there's a good chance you might be on a different timeline and you need to check those out. That goes for um, every tarot reader on YouTube, not just me. So always check out what your moon, rising, and Venus signs are and then check those videos out as well. Okay, I'll pull some oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. Breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. Rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. And what you're not seeing, narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. I feel like there's some sort of discovery of either self or consciousness or situation. There's some, some discovery that happened. I feel like you're not seeing, you need to be careful of the steps that you take. I feel like you're not seeing how the things that you're doing have as big of an impact as they do. Tarot cards. I will lay the tarot down and then I will go over them. See what I have for you. Lovers. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Seven of Swords. King of Wands. And the overall energy is justice. Okay, so there are two major arcana right off the bat. I am going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the, the King of Wands to see exactly what's going on with them. Okay, so the Queen of Cups came out in reverse. And then this Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the King of Wands is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so... This Queen of Pentacles, whoever this person is, this person seems to be somebody who's very caring, very loving, but they almost kind of like resist giving loving. They might, um, they might play a game. They might like give you a little bit of love and then um, take it away if you don't do exactly what they want. I feel like this person might be very manipulative, this Queen of Pentacles. Uh, there's only one major arcana here, which is the lovers. I'm going to clarify that. This is about a choice. Okay, so this is interesting because the lovers is clarified by the seven of wands, the knight of cups, and the king of cups. The queen of pentacles is clarified by the queen of cups in reverse, which I feel like this is a decision of what type of person that you want to be and the relationships that you're going to put up with. I feel like you might have been stuck in a cycle with somebody who you know, seem to be stable, but they actually took their time on things and they are wasted time on things and they would give you a little bit of love. They, they kind of like dangled their love in front of you like a carrot. This justice card, knight of swords, two of cups, page of swords. I feel like there might be a relationship that's ending here for some of you. And for some of you, it is about balance. Either way, it's always about balance when the justice card comes out. But I feel like this is about like really getting at the heart of the truth. Like, like I don't feel like this is a legal situation, although it could be. But I feel like this is getting to the heart of the truth, especially with this Knight of Swords clarifying it. But that's that's what's actually going on here. It's like this is what the truth is. And the justice card is like, I'm going to reveal this information and show you what's going on. I feel like, um, I feel like Gemini, this lover's card could be a person that seems very like strong, but they're, they have like kind of a tough love mentality, but they're also very loving, compassionate and kind. And, but they're also capable and they have like unconditional love for you. 
but I feel like this person right here, they could be an earth sign or they could just have very earth energy, but this person is very manipulative. They, they kind of like keep their love from you. Either way, this is about becoming grounded. That's what this really is about. Um, that's what the treasure really is that you're uncovering is about love and happiness. It's about finding that peace inside yourself and finding that joy and happiness inside yourself. Finding that grounded and stability within yourself. You're becoming extremely clear on the things that you need to do to be able to accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. This Seven of Swords is somebody, that, again, there is some serious manipulation that's going on here and I feel like it's going to be, yeah, wow. Wow, this is major manipulation. Seven of Swords, Magician, Three of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. The negative aspect of the Nine of Cups is somebody who's very arrogant and pompous and rude. Had the Nine of Cups come out anywhere else, it would be more like wish granted. But the fact that it's clarifying the Seven of Swords, which this is already about deception and lies and um, using resources to manipulate. There is like major manipulation going on here and I feel like it is this queen of pentacles. This is really what's coming out is like where the manipulation is coming from, where the truth is coming from, where the honesty is coming from. That's what's actually coming out. It's like looking at the matter, the, the actual situation. I'm going to clarify one more time because I, I need to ask a question. Very much. The truth is coming out. The truth of the situation is coming out. I wanted to make sure that I was going in the right direction with the reading. And the question that I asked was, is the person over here that's either the Gemini or the person that, because um, I feel like it looks like somebody's manipulating you and it looks like somebody's being mean to you, but in reality... It's someone else. It's like now you're able to see things for what they really are and the true colors are really starting to show. And I feel like I feel like you are not seeing that every step that you take from here on out when it comes to this realization and this like truth coming out opens up this huge door for you. That it's, it's going to literally like pave a way for a new direction in your entire life. Okay, Libra, in the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Libra. And I upload, li upload Libra readings every single week. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there. Thank you.